Third year in Milwaukee, Black Nativity is showing now through the weekend. It's co-produced by the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts and Black Arts MKE. Marcus McFarlane is one of the people who brings the show to life, and he's here to tell us a little bit about it. Great to see you, Marcus. Great to see you as Thanks well. Thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about the show now. This is the third year that it's uh, run here in Milwaukee. What's the show about? The show is the Black Nativity story written by Langston Hughes. Um, I believe it was originally written in 1961, um, and it's directed this year again by Malkia Stampley Johnson, who has done a phenomenal job at bringing the nativity story of the birth of Jesus Christ to full circle to a current modern day play. A um, lot of music, a lot of uh, your traditional Christmas songs that have been somewhat turned gospel and a lot of gospel songs. So it's a great diversity of music in, this, in the play as well. Your second year in the show, I, I wanted to ask you about the music because it's such, a, such an important part yes. about the story, but also this show, I mean, people must get really into it. They do. Uh, <laughs> the, the audience has been clapping and, and, and people are almost tempted to stand up and kind of join in is what from what we've been told, but yes, there's a ton of music. We have an amazing uh, musical director, Antoine Reynolds, who has put together such great uh, arrangements to songs that you're very familiar with, and some songs you may not have heard. But either way, it's a roller coaster of emotions. You might smile, you might laugh, you might shed a tear or two, but it is definitely something you can bring the entire family out to enjoy. It sounds like as well over the years, you've been able to adapt this to what is going on in our society at the time. That's so important about the message, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it just to, it's just a one of those stories that, that never gets old, um, but yet and still with the current events of what's going on in today's society to see how relative even the black nativity story is to what we deal with today. What kind of uh, reception have you get getting from audiences? I mean, I imagine there are folks who come see you every year and then some people who are seeing you for the first time. Absolutely. Some are returning uh, people who have seen it before in the past. Others have, are seeing it for the first time just based on word of mouth. And um, what I'm loving is that I'm seeing all age groups. I'm seeing young to old. Uh, even my own children remember the songs from last year. Mm -hmm. So they're really excited. Well, that's good. If, I mean, if you can be cool to your own kids, <laughs> you're getting there. Yeah, and I'm doing all right. Well, congratulations, Marcus. <laughs> Hope we can get some more people out to the show for you. You can find more information about Black Nativity running through the weekend at the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts. It's up on our website right now at TMJ4.com.